new video. I'm about to eat some breakfast. This looks so good. It's been one of my favorite breakfasts recently. I like switch it up a little bit. I do some eggs, avocado, blueberries, and then a piece of toast with cream cheese and everything but the bagel seasoning. It's so good. And then I've been making this one coffee the past couple days like i just started making it and it's my favorite you guys kind of saw me make it but maybe if i make it again later today i will show you like better details because oh my god it's like incredible also while i'm like showing you guys stuff this candle i just got from Le labo smells like heaven i like to light this while i make breakfast in the morning and then i light my dip tea candle while i'm like making dinner because they're expensive candles so i like to like use them on occasion you know but it is a very very slow morning it's 8 50 right now but it's there's a hurricane outside well i think it might be a tropical storm now i don't i don't know if it ended up being a hurricane like a category one when it got to tampa i'm not really sure but it's starting to slow down but like it was so windy and really loud and like weird things were happening like my alexa kept playing life is funny that way by role model randomly i had a horrible dream a really scary nightmare and i woke up at 3 a.m and a picture had fallen off the wall and i was like what is happening so creepy so many weird things and then like lights are flickering and i don't know it was just like whoa quite the scene overnight and to wake up to but it's not too bad and like everything's like intact and whatever like even my patio furniture i forgot to bring it in and it's like chilling and the wind's slowing down now so whatever but i've never seen wind like that before and it wasn't even i don't even think it was a hurricane so that's wild so scary but i'm gonna eat my breakfast and then i think i might switch it up today and i might record my podcast before i work out i'll see how i feel after i eat but i think that's the plan as of right now just went ahead and recorded a podcast episode. I did it all about breakups and heartbreak, and I think it was a really good episode. I feel like I've been wanting to record an episode like that for a long time, but it never felt right. But this rainy weather made me feel like I was in the right mindset. Anyways, I am going to work out now. I'm going to get on my workout clothes and do a little workout. But I, I'm glad I did that. I got that out of the way because I was a little bit stressed about recording that today just because it takes such a chunk of time. Like it's like a full hour, you know? I'm gonna do a little 20 minute ride and probably some legs and some abs. But I did just get cut, so I don't wanna do anything too crazy. And I don't really wanna hold too many weights like in my hands. So I might do like some body weight legs or something, but that's the plan. Hi guys. All right, so it's been a minute since I talked to you. I just had some lunch i just had leftovers from dinner last night honestly like i kind of wish i wasn't vlogging today because i just like don't feel my happiest i don't know i was doing good again and then i'm just like not honestly i don't remember the last thing that i said to you guys i yeah, i don't know i ended up having a really bad low blood sugar and then my blood sugar spiked and i'm just like so done with today i'm in like the worst mood it's 4 p.m I don't know where the day went. I wanna make another coffee and I still have so much work to do. I just heard a really funny joke <laughs> and I'm gonna tell it to Alyssa. I told them that they have to reply with a voice recording. So I'll let you guys listen to. This is my funniest joke. Why did the chicken cross the road? <laughs> okay, they said. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> to get to the house. Now wait, wait, hold on. I just thought of a funnier joke. Knock, knock. <laughs> this is all part of the joke. What is going on? Who's there? <laughs> the chicken. <laughs> that is so funny for no reason. All right, I'm gonna make a second coffee to cheer myself up. Also, hold on. So I have this weird thing where if it's gonna be a rainy day, it's gonna stay a rainy day. Cause if it's gonna be rainy and cloudy, I'm in a rainy and cloudy mood. And if the sun comes out while I'm in a rainy and cloudy mood, because there was rain and clouds, I'm gonna be mad. Like it makes me like, ugh, I'm not ready for the sun. I don't know how to explain it. And for a sec, the sun came out and I was like, mm, I wanted a rainy cloudy mood today. But anywho. Making a second coffee, I just did a squirt of butter pecan, which I actually really enjoy having that down there instead of on the counter. It's like 
way cuter and it's just as practical. So honestly, no complaints. And what I've been using is, coming over here, I got this almond milk and then I just have this leftover so I've been also adding this in but I am going to make an iced latte so I put a decent amount of milk. I still like cream if I'm doing like a coffee but with a latte, um, milk is just a lot sometimes but I'm gonna do about that much almond milk and then I really just like kind of top it off with this is the coffee cake flavor. I don't think I'd repurchase again. It's like not that good, but it doesn't really have much of a flavor. I get my little Nespresso pods, the iced Leggero, 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 double espresso. Put that in my machine and brew her up. It's gonna be so good. I like need a second coffee. I need a mood booster. I kind of switched around my to-do list a lot this week. I don't know, like I make my to-do list for the next day at night and I think I was feeling very ambitious every night and I think I'm just feeling discouraged because most days this week I just did finish my to-do list and I moved so many things over to the next day and I hate doing that but this week was just one of those weeks where I just like had to. <laughs> um, so, I don't know. Like. I I, maybe I will do the one more thing I have on my to-do list, but I still need to edit my video and so it's already four. By the time I finish, like I'm probably not gonna want to do the last thing and there won't even be light out anymore probably by the time I finish editing. And I had plans to go out tonight, but I'm just like not in the mood. And honestly, my blood sugars haven't been very good, so I'm not feeling very good. And I kind of just want to stay in. I'm kinda bummed because like one of my new friends that I made is wants me to go or like we had plans to go and I want to hang out with her but I just don't know if mentally I can like I just don't feel like it and I I think I I was self-isolating really bad but lately I've been so good I've been doing so much like saying yes to so many more things than I even wanted to and then ended up like not even necessarily always having fun but still I did it and I was like proud of myself for doing it and I I just, I think I just need a night. I don't know, I, I'm like exhausted. I honestly just really miss my friends. Just miss people that like really know me. <sighs> and like also who like understand diabetes. Okay, I'm not gonna cry, but I just wanna say Brie, Maddie and Bella and Alyssa are the freaking best for taking the time and energy to learn about diabetes and what I need and what, what beeps mean and knowing what I like to hear and what I don't like to hear. And I just miss my freaking friends. Suddenly I'm not crying anymore. <laughs> good coffee does a lot. A lot of good things for my life. You know what, my day is better because I have this delicious full bowl, big kale arugula salad with just some veggies like tomato, onion, goat cheese and then some buffalo tofu air fried, some leftover goat cheese ravioli with pesto, and then some air fried summer squash. Looks so good. I'm heading out to, would you believe it, the dentist. <laughs> if you guys saw in one of my last videos, I thought my wisdom tooth extraction site was infected. Went and got it checked out. They said, no, it's not. It's probably just muscular. Well, it kind of got worse. So here I go again, back to get it checked out again, one more time because I don't believe that there's nothing wrong with it. That's how I'm spending my Friday morning. It's 10 a.m. Gonna go drive there and then go home and probably do my workout at that point. But just wearing my workout fit. 
right now that's all i got for you guys at the moment i'm very frustrated that i have to go and do this but honestly i'm just trying to stay positive because like honestly what does it even matter like okay i have to drive 30 minutes out of my way that i didn't plan on doing but like like in reality does it matter no so let's go get it done all right well uh an hour and 15 minutes later and it's nothing i don't know why it hurts i think like I, like they said last time it's just like healing i don't know i'm gonna make up my own explanation for it and basically i think that it's just like all the like flesh is like healing and moving in and so maybe that's why because i had like a pretty big hole so maybe it's just from like the tissue moving around or whatever but i mean i'm glad it's nothing i think that me and like my family all have like a chronic fear that we're gonna ignore symptoms again and then it's gonna be bad like i did with my diabetes so i guess it's whatever like it's good that it's nothing it's just like why does it hurt then is it really nothing but i've gotten a check twice so i'm just gonna just gonna leave it i guess i don't know it's like a never-ending health issues for me i swear but that took way longer than i wanted it to so i'm gonna go home maybe get a little workout in honestly i don't know like why does there always have to be something wrong why can't i just feel well i feel like i complain in every vlog and that's like super annoying so i'm gonna shut up i'm gonna go home and i'm gonna make the best out of my day honestly it's a super chill day i might film one video and then I'm gonna work out and I have a vlog to edit and a podcast to edit and I gotta just like post so I need to just not be grumpy it's just a chill day nothing to be stressed about nothing it's not a big deal guys I can't even like joke around anymore I just chef up the best food like does this salad not look amazing there's kale, arugula, some bell pepper, tomato, cucumber, red onion, leftover ground turkey, almonds, and then a homemade dressing. I have just accepted, I literally just texted this to Alyssa. I was like, I have entered my housewife era and I'm okay with that. Like I genuinely just enjoy cooking and cleaning and homesteading. Like making the house cozy, candles, decorating, organizing, and then just like looking cute doing it. Like that is like the era of my life that I'm in. <laughs> and it's like, it just like feels so fun and nice. I don't know, it's just like a very calming way to live. Especially cause I'm a housewifing like straight up for myself, like only for myself, it's fun. Okay you guys, I just went and picked up a package from Revolve and I'm super excited. I actually, one of these things was for something I was gonna do the other day and then didn't end up doing, but regardless, what I got was super cute. So also I just worked out like a few minutes ago. So if I look a little cray, you know why. I got a little necklace. I just thought it was really cute. Well, it's a little gold chain and it just has like a little horseshoe diamond and I felt like layered it would look super cute with like other necklaces all right then this little cardigan i believe is yeah so i want to wear this possibly if it looks cute for the friends giving that i'm going to kind of with just a little black bralette underneath some baggy jeans and some heeled booties and then like i was thinking this necklace maybe layered with another type of necklace but it's like big oversized i'll try to try it on for you guys uh maybe tonight or not if not tonight sometime soon and show you what it fits like but it's free people thinking it could be really cute maybe even putting like maybe even putting like a cropped tee underneath so that it has like little sleeves poking out assuming it looks cute obviously and then okay one of these things i'm really excited for i'll save it for last and then this first is a little shrug i hope this fits but i'm really into shrugs recently can't really tell with this lighting but i even was wearing i'll do it right now but i was wearing my little crew neck like this today it looks like a little shrug with an open back like actual life hack if you guys want a shrug but don't want to buy one 
here you are. It's easier if it's like a cropped one or has like a loose bottom. Otherwise it like makes your neck like push forward. But this one's a cropped like loose fitting crew neck. So super cute. But I just got like a real shrug and it's like a workouty material because I figured that um, I could wear it like over my workout clothes when I'm cold or this is the main event. These pants, God, honestly, I hope they don't fit because they were kind of expensive. <laughs> but I also hope they fit because I'm obsessed with them. Okay. I saw Daniel Carolyn wearing these and I was like, immediately purchasing those are the cutest thing i've ever seen oh i also got my eyebrows done today they look really good but oh my god okay they kind of look big oh wait they might fit perfect oh my god okay so they're jean material up at the waist but the rest is all leather are you kidding me they're goldie a gold day jeans i've never owned a pair of goldie jeans i'm like a diehard abercrombie girl but i'm so excited to try these on and uh yeah, oh my god, I'm like losing my mind over these pants. I really actually hope they fit because they're very cute. But that was a little package that I picked up. It's now 5.45. I still need to edit my podcast episode as well as edit a vlog and then obviously like eat dinner and whatnot. But it's a Friday night, I'm not doing anything. I did make plans um, to get dinner tomorrow night with some friends and then I think Brie, Maddie, and Bella are coming up on Sunday. So I have like a fun little weekend. Um, so I'm just gonna take my Friday also just like I just have work to do just because I didn't expect to have to go to the dentist this morning and I ended up being there. It's like it, it's a half hour each way, so that's an hour, and then I was there for an hour. So it was a two hour ordeal where like I just feel like it wasted a lot of my day. But no worries. We will just have a chill night in editing, which I'm honestly kind of excited for. My apartment is such a vibe at night, so I'm down for it, honestly. I'm probably gonna read a little bit later too. And that's the that's the little planio. I wanna try this stuff on really bad. I'm so excited. Okay, yeah, this is so, so cute. You can't really see it right now, obviously, because the lighting is a little bit dim, but I'm gonna wear it with these little booties, um, these light wash jeans. And then this is not the bralette. I was talking about the bralette is like lower cut and so, it'll look like that rather than that. Um, and also I have on the little necklace. It's super cute. I don't think it was crazy expensive either. Love. This is what I'm gonna be wearing to a little Friendsgiving. I think it's super cute and like mature and casual, but also cute. And then let me try on the pants. You guys, I could not be more excited right now. The jeans fit perfectly. I'm not a huge high waist fan. However, I think these ones actually look really cute um they're like a little bit baggy kind of like drop crotchy and they're not super tight like i have room i think they're super flattering and cute and i have on the same black boots and then again i wouldn't wear this bra with the shrug but the shrug is amazing and i think a different shirt or a different bra situation um with the rest of this outfit and all gold jewelry would be so cute. I would probably need like, oh, even that looks so cute. Oh my God. Like, hello, I'm obsessed with these pants. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I was so hungry and completely forgot to show, but my dinner was so good. So here's a picture of it. I made a little cauliflower crust pizza with pesto, cheese, bell pepper, tomato, onion, and then I cooked some chicken on the side. I slayed the chicken this time, you guys. I made a comeback from last week's chicken thighs that were horrid, actually horrid. Um, yeah, came back fully and it was actually like delicious. Like not even like mid, like it was so good. You can even see, like it was juicy. It had flavor, absolute comeback. I need to post this on my story right now. It is now 9.38. I just finished editing my podcast and my YouTube video and I also made a thumbnail for the YouTube video and I already had one of these while I was editing where is it these are so good these Cleo bars ugh, they're delicious and now I'm going to have this little yogurt with some nuts in it and I'm also making well I'm heating up some water um, I'm going to have some peppermint tea and I'm gonna do two 
little tea bags because I want it to be strong. And I'm also thinking I want to get a tea kettle. So I think it would one look really cute and two I, then I won't have to microwave water. I'm so sad because my sister got me this. Oh, also, I like did not do a good job taking off my mascara. I also like have a pimple or a sty under my eye. I'm a mess. My skin's also breaking out like in really weird. I don't know what's happening. But last Christmas, my sister got me a really nice electric water heater, like electric tea kettle, and it got all moldy. I think I didn't take care of it properly. Tea kettle is no longer with us, so I think I might just go old school and pick out like a cute one from like Williams Noma or like Anthropology or something. I have one in my brain. I don't know if if it exists or if I like made it up in my brain, but I think I might have seen it somewhere. But I have to figure out where I saw it. But if I find it, I'll let you guys know. I'm gonna give it like 30 more seconds. Also, you guys, one of my guilty pleasures in life is matching things that just don't need to match. Like for example. These are my jammies right now, okay? This top is Lululemon. These sweatpants are Aviator Nation. And sneak peek, if you just saw, my socks match perfectly. Like the cream of the shirt and the cream of the sock and then the brown or tan of the sock and the tan of my pant are like super similar. And it's one of those things in life where it's like so unnecessary. And I swear, it's just sometimes, it's just the little things in life. like. Today, my little thing is matching my socks to my pajamas. Good morning, you guys. I'm going to continue a little, like vlogging a little bit more for this vlog because I just looked back at my footage. I don't think I really have too, too much from the last couple of days and definitely not much of substance that's for sure so i'm gonna continue this vlog and it's a saturday i slept in a little bit it's like 9 a.m right now i think i woke up around like 8 maybe um i think i woke up at like 7 30 but i was like falling back asleep fully until like 8 30 or 8 but i got up made my coffee did my little like morning thing like I put all the dishes that were in the dishwasher away, opened the shades, um, journaled, and then I also, normally I would make my bed, but I am gonna wash my sheets today. So I just took them off and put them in the hallway to be washed. Need to stop at Target because I did an online, like a pickup order um, for scent beads for my laundry because I love doing laundry with scent beads and cleaning gloves because I <clears throat> I mentioned in a recent vlog I was like cleaning or doing dishes with gloves on like just feels so wrong blah 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 and I still feel that way but some of, so many of you were like no like cleaning with gloves on and doing dishes with gloves on like saved my hands and my hands are just so dry so I'm gonna give it a go <laughs> we're gonna so I ordered gloves so we're gonna try that out and see if I like it. I mean, I've cleaned with gloves on before, but uh, I don't know. It's just such a strange feeling to me, but honestly, like it's probably a good idea. You don't really want that stuff touching your skin. <laughs> but anyways, I've been doing my laundry on Saturdays, or at least my sheets, because I find that on um, on Sundays, there's nothing I hate more than putting my sheets on my bed. Like, I love having clean sheets, don't get me wrong, but I never, like, by the end of Sunday, I'm like, the last thing I want to do right now is put sheets on my bed. And so I've been doing my sheets on Saturday to, like, make it one less task to do on Sundays because on Sundays I grocery shop, I... Um, clean the whole apartment, I do my laundry, like my normal laundry, like I do the whole whole nine yards on Sundays. So, um, yeah, I decided that enough is enough and we're gonna make it easier on ourselves. But actually, I think I might be doing the whole like Sunday clean on Saturday, today. My camera's gonna die. But because 
my friends, we Maddie and Bella, are actually coming up tomorrow to spend the day here, and I could not be more excited. Like, actually, I'm so thrilled. I miss them so much. I am in desperate need of some friend time, that's for sure. Oh, but tonight, I am actually gonna go get dinner with at least one of my friends, maybe two. Um, but I'm really excited. We're gonna go to Bar Taco and I wanna dress cute and just like get out and be super fun. Also you guys, if you live in the Tampa area, sorry, you know this sink running is probably super annoying. If you guys live in the Tampa area, ignore my mascara that's like fully sewn under my eyes and my sty and my breakout. I don't know what's going on. Um, if you live in the Tampa area and you want to get your eyebrows threaded by somebody trustworthy, go to Rena's Eyebrows. She never fails me. I have been to her three or four times now. Every single time is a slay. And honestly, even my place back in West Palm that I really, really loved, they messed up my eyebrows a couple times and Rena has yet to disappoint me. So, love, love, love. Really quick before my battery dies, I made some oats this morning with, I mixed in some cottage cheese, um, there's blueberries in here, chia seeds, hazelnuts, and a little bit of almond butter on top, and it looks super yummy. I've actually never tried cottage cheese with oats, but I wanted some protein. I didn't want to do egg whites, and I'm like just egg whites, and I'm out of eggs, because if you guys haven't ever tried mixing eggs, like cooking eggs into your oatmeal, I know it sounds gross, but try it. It tastes like bread pudding, and it's like so good, <laughs> but Anyways, going to eat this in a few once my insulin timer goes off. Okay, you guys, update the cottage cheese with the oats. Try it. So good. It just made it like creamy and delicious. But I just put on my little workout fit because um, like the first real thing I'll do today is workout. So like, but I am first going to go to Target and pick up the, like I said, the cleaning supplies and the little scent beads because I think I might clean before I work out. But here's my little work outfit. Sorry, my phone's like blowing up. It's my group chat. Big things happening in the group chat this morning. <laughs> the shrug you guys saw, I just opened last night. I got it from Revolve. I'll have it in my Revolve favorites and I'll have my Revolve favorites linked down below. And then, um, oh my God, sorry. This little sports bra is from um, Set Active still have all my cupping bruises from the chiropractor, but they are looking better. And then these are just Lululemon aligns and I'm just wearing some Lulu socks. And I really like this shrug, but I will say, I wish it went down further in the back because it kind of keeps riding up. And like, I didn't expect when I like lifted my arms that it would be so like, it just isn't like tight like I thought. And I think I wish that it was. The issue is that it goes down like it goes down further in the front than the back. I feel like it should be the other way around and like I guess I could technically wear it backwards But like the tag is back here. I don't know, but still looks really cute So I guess that's all that really matters and it does keep me warm. So cool. All right, you guys I'm on my way to go run a couple errands like I said I have to go to Target to pick up my online order however, I also I've been wanting to go to Anthropology because they have like their Christmas stuff out and I'm getting this new table delivered. I ordered it like a month ago and it was supposed to come like two weeks ago. Oh, I didn't change the battery. Okay, I'll talk quick. It was supposed to come a couple weeks ago but it got delayed but it's finally getting delivered on Tuesday and I need like decorations for it. So I've been wanting to go to Anthropology to check out like the little trinkets they have. Okay, my camera died while I was in the car, but I just got back from running to Anthropology and picking up my order from Target. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. So first at Target, I just got these two pairs of gloves, one for doing dishes, one for cleaning, like around the house. And then these are the scent beads that I use. Absolutely love them, they smell so good. And then at Anthropology, we have like a few groups of things. So first is like beauty, whatever, self-care. I got this um, scalp exfoliator and massager. Heard this is really good to use just for scalp and hair health. So got that, I'm gonna use that um, in the shower. And then I also picked up this little headband for when I'm doing my uh, skincare. When I'm like, when I don't want my hair to get all wet because I find that 
my little baby hairs get all curly from getting all wet, so this will help with that. Then moving on, I also grabbed some new slip hair ties because mine are just getting old and stretched out. It's been a while since I got more, but these are my favorite hair ties ever. They don't crease your hair, they don't damage your hair. I swear this is part of the reason why my hair has gotten so healthy just because I almost always use these hair ties. Once in a while I'll use like a normal hair tie, but for the most part I use these and they're super cute too. I love these colors. It came with one other one. Uh, it was a pack of one, two, three, four, four. And I left one in my car on purpose because sometimes I need one when I'm driving because my hair just gets so heavy sometimes. <laughs> and then I thought these earrings were super fun and cute and just with the Friendsgiving I have coming up and just the holidays, I thought they were fun because they have like just a little teeny tiny bit of, you guys probably can't even tell, like the teeniest little bit of green on them, but you can't even really tell. They just look really cute. And I love them for like little statement earrings. And then also just to switch it up, I got these little, they're like diamonds that have little like danglies um, to put in like my second holes and whatever. Kind of maybe to wear with these, just when I want to like dress it up a little more. I'm trying to like, I don't know, put more effort into like myself and my life. So <laughs> got that. And then these three things are for the little table that I have coming in the mail. So... Obviously, you guys know I have a billion and one candles, but I really liked this one for decor. Like, it looks really pretty. And then I mentioned recently wanting to get matches. So I got this little box of matches. I like how the box looks, but I probably won't keep it. Oh, I guess you do need to keep it in the box because that's how you light it. Okay, well, good thing I got it to match then. But I got this little match set, mostly for decor. Well, I guess I probably won't even use the matches, so I might take the matches out and put them in like a little thing, TBD. And then I got this wine book, Italian wine. Funny, cause I'm like not a wine drinker at all, but I thought it was like very elegant and it was it's the vibe that I'm going for, for the um, table and also the green in this matches like the little bit of green that I have in my pillows on my couch and ties everything in, so. Love this, super cute. There was a bunch of books from Anthropology that I really wanted to get, but they were like quite expensive. That store is actually kind of crazy, but that is everything that I got. It's now already noon. I think I actually might work out before I clean. I'm feeling like that's the vibe, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start my laundry. I also haven't even washed my face yet, so that's why I'm like, let me work out, then I'll wash my face and I'll like get changed and whatever. But time to get this day started. It's a very slow Saturday. Hi guys, this is like the world's scariest angle, but I have on my new headband while I do my makeup. It's only like 4.30 right now and I'm not getting dinner until later, but I'm getting ready now because my friend Natalie's on her way over. Um, and like, I just had to shower, so I figured I would get ready. And I actually really love my outfit tonight. I have on those new pants that I just got, the like half leather ones. And I just feel really cute and cool. I can't even see it. I just feel really cute and cool in them. I have on some new earrings. I just feel good. I don't like get ready ready like often. I'm excited to be doing this, to like be going on a date with my friends, you know? So, anywho. Doing my makeup. I wonder if I'm gonna regret putting this headband on. Like, I wonder if it's gonna leave a weird situation in my hair, but honestly, it's fine. <laughs> I'll just put my hair in a ponytail if it's really that bad. And also, my skin has been so bad. This is the first time that I am putting anything at all on my skin. In, well, I've been doing concealer under my eyes, but besides that, like I have not been putting anything on my skin besides skincare and concealer because my breakouts, I don't, I, I feel like it just kind of looks like it's some sort of hormonal thing because it's like very strange clustered. Natalie's here, y'all. Oh wow, it actually it really does. Let me work my mom, my magic, my mama magic. I feel so weird without makeup on. I can't. I got a hot date tonight. 
<laughs> that is a hot take. What day are we talking about? What day are we talking about? <laughs> love, love, love. The frizz will calm down in a sec. Yeah, I know. It's okay, it'll be curly in like 10 minutes, so we're fine. It's not even humid out. We're chilling. We no, like my hair, like, oh, it just curls. Well, our date is at <laughs> 7.30 and it's 5 o'clock. But I, once it gets dark, I'll take pics. I want like flat, like somewhat blurry oh, okay. pics. Like when we go over there or like here? Probably here. We can do it like literally when we leave. We can stop outside. See, this is making me so mad. It's so discolored right here. Like, I can't see the difference. Like, honestly. No. Like, yes, because you pointed it out, but like I've never noticed that before. Okay. She's We're like... Telling. She would charge you three hundred dollars to do that to your hair. If um anybody has a hairdresser in Florida that doesn't charge yeah in Tampa a ton of money, show them. She oh. had this one lady tell her that it was like four hundred dollars to literally. Yeah. I'm sorry, no. Maybe no, we have to spoil four hundred just to like lighten, like not even lighten, not even lighten. highlights, like literally. Just a little teeny tiny, like, yeah. like, like it's gonna know, look like this film, but just with like some, yeah. I don't structure. know how hair works, but I just know for 100% sure if what I used to pay when I did like full balayage cost what yeah. I paid, there's no way your hair should cost that yeah. much. And I didn't even pay that much ever. Yeah, that's a fat no. I'll just go back home, no. take a trip back home for my hair. <laughs> I do, I literally do that. I get my hair.